Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on five editing tips for photography beginners, specifically for fashion photography. So I've wanted to do this video for a little while. I think it will be helpful for any beginner photographers out there who are a little bit stuck with where to start with editing because it is quite overwhelming when you first start out and you don't know where to start with editing. And a lot of the time it does take quite a bit of experimentation to get things right and it does take a period of time to really refine your editing skills but I thought I'd just put out five tips that I think really would help a beginner photographer in these situations. The first editing tip is not to over retouch skin and this is very hard it's something that I struggle with constantly even now after years and years of editing and I think this comes down to maybe taking a break in between editing skin. So I have spent, especially on beauty photos as well, three hours straight editing a photo. I might have a two hour break and then come back to it and realize that I've just done way too much editing. So I think having more frequent breaks definitely helps with retouching skin. And just being aware that you're not smudging the skin, you're not blending it too much or putting a blur over the skin because that's removing a lot of the texture that was once there and it's just not a great way to edit skin in particular. So definitely be aware of not over retouching skin. Make sure you're kind of looking back at the image and even going back to the original to see how much the skin has changed and making sure that it's not too plastic looking. Number two is the fact that less is more. And this is with editing in general, with color toning, with skin editing, with sharpening, with just everything. Really have a look at your original images. I really like to do this with comparing my original to how I've edited it. And if it's looking a little bit fake, if it's looking a little bit overdone, you can usually tell back comparing the two images. And like I said before, taking more frequent breaks will definitely help you take notice of certain things that might have gone too far with editing. Uh, but particularly even with toning, I think it's good to stick to a couple of adjustment layers, not too much going on a lot of the time because it's very easy to go overboard with lots of adjustment layers, lots of coloring, and it's great. And, and you do tend to do that in the experimentation phase when you're first starting out. But I think definitely less is more. And you tend to realize that as you go along and you're finding clients definitely want things a lot more refined. So just try and keep that in mind when you're editing. Speaking of adjustment layers, number three would be to use adjustment layers <laughs> and to not edit on the background layer or the original image. So adjustment layers are going to be your lifesaver when you're editing. It's going to make it so much easier when you want things changed or you want things, uh, like I said, if you if you take a break and you come back to it and you realize you've, you've pushed things too far with certain parts of your editing, adjustment layers are going to allow you to turn them off completely, delete the layer, or you can change the opacity of it and bring it down a little bit. Adjustment layers are great for any brightness and contrast, so any lighting, uh, editing that you need to do, and also any coloring. So you can do like solid colors, selective color. Curves is a really, really good one that I love to use. So definitely adjustment layers are the way to go, especially when you're starting off with editing. It's a pretty simple way to start off and start coming up with your own toning and different color combinations. Number four would be to learn dodging and burning and also frequency separation. These are two really important tools that will help you with skin editing and they're non-destructive to the image. So that's something that I would definitely recommend is to look up some tutorials on dodging and burning and frequency separation. I've linked my dodging and burning one just below in the description box. And I think it's a pretty simple starting point for skin editing and it's gonna teach you how to also enhance the light in the photograph and where highlights can be changed, where shadows can be changed and how that does affect the texture of the skin as well. So definitely look into that. They're two really important tools that a lot of fashion photographers do use. And my last tip would be to learn a little bit about color theory. Now this doesn't sound very exciting whatsoever and I completely understand that. <laughs> color theory was not something I ever truly enjoyed I think when I was studying, but it does have a purpose and it does actually make a bit of sense. So when you're looking at color theory and what colors go next to each other, what colors are opposite to each other and clash, it's such a good way to start experimenting with combinations in Photoshop. And that's what you do need to eventually do is just experiment. Experiment with different colors and different color combinations. Um, color theory is really quite interesting when you get into it and you actually start learning about it a lot more. And it will eventually help you with toning your images and finding out what does look good in an image and what hues might be interesting for certain images. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's just a short one today and I hope these tips have helped, especially if you're a beginner photographer. Uh, if there's any other beginner tutorials or videos you would like me to do, anything you'd like me to chat about in particular, please let me know in the comments section below. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. And thanks so much for watching, guys. If there's anything you'd like to see on my channel in particular, please let me know. And I will see you next time. Bye.